Tell us what happens when you get the script for Dynasty. For example, at that moment, how much time have you and how much money have you got to get the whole thing put together? Okay, my biggest headache on Dynasty is the time limit. I do a new show every seven days. I usually get a script about three days um, prior to the uh, concept meeting, which when I say a concept meeting, it's the executive producers, the art department, everyone connected with the show sits down, we go through the script and talk about it. So it's very difficult for me to even really um, okay a sketch or something from one of the actresses or from a set wardrobe for one of the actors before the concept meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, many times the scene will change or it'll, it'll be a daytime scene in the script and they'll say, well, it'll be much better if we do black tie dinner or something. So it, it can change drastically in the concept meeting. Fortunately, I'm surrounded by producers who Doug Kramer, who is the executive producer, lives like the Carringtons. He thinks that way. I mean, detail is unbelievable, right down to the kind of, of can the carp food is on that, that crystal's feeding to the carp. I mean, there is no detail that mm. is not discussed. But after that, I work very fast. I have to individually talk with Joan, Linda, uh, Diane, Carol, uh, all of the actors, and we discuss the script briefly. They have eight changes, whatever. How would they like to look? What do you think if I do this, this, this? I do sketches. And because of the time limit, I mean, in the old days, I used to do wonderful rendered sketches with colors mm. and swatches and everything. Now, if they get a pencil sketch, they feel very fortunate. Many times they wear clothes that they, they have never laid eyes on. I mean, it, it moves so fast. And I, you see me in the hallway at 7 in the morning going, oh, please, let it fit. Please, just oh this yeah. once, let it fit. Nolan Miller has been a Hollywood designer for years, and the walls of his Beverly Hills studio are filled with pictures of the stars that he's worked with, many of whom have become close friends. Although he's currently designing for two other shows, Love Boat and The Colbys of California, he seems to be having the most fun with Dynasty. And why not? Each week he gets, along with a new script, a $25,000 budget, and is told to spend every penny to make the stars of the show look beautiful. Joan Collins, of course, Pamela Sue Martin, Linda Evans, and the new Stephen Carrington, Jack Coleman, make them look rich and powerful. Nolan designs, he begins by reading each new script with his design assistant, Donna Peterson, who helps him to decide on the different outfits for each scene. Then Donna sketches the design out for the staff dressmakers. Although some of the clothes for Dynasty are bought in stores, most are made to order right here in Nolan's studio. The final step is fitting the actor on the set and deciding which accessories to use. Nolan often has the actor run through the scene to make sure everything works. And it almost always does. What happens if uh, you design something for Joan Collins and you say, hey, wear this, Joan, and she said, I don't like it. How headstrong is she, or who wins in that case when Are you, you think that, yeah, I'm Have serious. you ever tried to make an actress wear something she didn't like? A anyway, I would never try and do that unless it had a story point. If it has a story point, then she has no choice. Um, but if it's simply wardrobe and, it, and something can be done, or something, of course, mm -hmm. I mean, the men or women, I think you have to be comfortable in mm -hmm. what you're wearing, and, and certainly an actor has to be happy in what they're wearing. Well, off the set, I've become terribly spoiled. I only want to wear the things that he's made. And on the set, I think they've made a tremendous difference to the whole look of the show. We seem to have evolved a particular style for Alexis, um, with hats and suits. And um, it seems that only Nolan can make them. I don't understand. Linda has a very strange, she strains the proportion. Someone Poor said baby, she has she's a... she's deformed. She has 12 shoulders, she has 12, 12 on top. 12 shoulders and an 8 bottom. No, 6 on bottom. 6 bottom? That's yes. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. She's built like a triangle, but it's wonderful. Oh, and especially with the padded <laughs> shoulders, that gives her that, you know, real... No, we really don't have to pad yeah. them very much. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there, there. He has spoiled me. Something terrible, and I love every minute of it. Oh. Yeah. Jim Owen from yeah, Don's Hats, was this stall? Nice to see you again. Thank Nolan, what a pleasure to meet you. And it's nice again, being here. Thank boy, you for your having clothes me. are lovely. You. If you have any, you want to throw away, you don't have any, <laughs> just throw them out in Nebraska, and we'll, we'll uh, figure right. out some way to, to use them so they don't go to waste. I'm sure a couple of Linda's things will look great. Oh, absolutely. I don't happen to have a six bottom. <laughs> uh, well, we can, do, we, can, we can fake it, can't we? <laughs> Thanks. Please, don't go away, because there's a lot more to come as the morning show continues. <laughs>